It's a quite uh, difficult result concerning building a coalition, building a new government. And it was uh, quite astonishing also for us that the far right, the so-called alternative for Germany, the AFD, has won uh, almost 13% of, of the, the, uh, the people's vote. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, we have 87% of the votes uh, going to other parties. And uh, there is now the potential for some parties to build a new coalition and uh, what we are longing for, an economic-friendly coalition. Would German business have preferred there to be a grand coalition remaining in place with the CDU, CSU and the SPD? We are not the ones who have to, to uh, tell the people what kind of coalition uh, should be the outcome of a uh, democratic uh, election. But we are the ones who give uh, advices to all the, to all the parties in order to have even better economic conditions, in order to have even better location uh, factors in Germany, but also when it comes to uh, the European approach, when it comes to international trade and so forth. So that means with this result, a good coalition in terms of business friendly is absolutely possible. Do you worry that some of the stimulus measures and tax cuts that were promised during the election campaign may take longer to deliver while Mrs Merkel tries to build a new coalition? The first priority what uh, we would uh, recommend is that uh, we are heading uh, to a stable government and a stable coalition. That means that uh, the coalition, the potential coalition partners have to figure out where are the critical points and the critical uh, uh, issues uh, to overcome. And uh, that means we prefer stability uh, before uh, when it comes to, to uh, really that we need a coalition in between uh, several weeks. It could uh, take time, but the more uh, a coalition uh, needs to be stable. And the second uh, thing is that uh, we have no concern about that the potential coalition partners, for instance, when it comes to the Christian Democrats, the Liberals uh, and the Green parties, that they are not uh, working for uh, tax reliefs uh, or at least a simplification of the entrepreneurs' uh, tax system because this is one of the major burden in, uh, in an even, for an even better uh, economic development is red tape uh, in our tax system. There seems to have been an assumption on this side of the channel that once the German elections were out of the way, Brexit negotiations could really get properly going. Is that a view that you and your members share? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, German businesses are well aware of the importance uh, of good relations, of good trade uh, and business relations uh, to the United Kingdom. And uh, the more we would have wished, and we <laughs> We still uh, are wishing uh, to have the UK on board in, an, in the European integration process. And the best would be we w wouldn't have a, a Brexit at all. Uh, so still, businesses in Germany are longing and advocating for a good uh, trade relations to the United Kingdom. And uh, we would like to have a pragmatic approach but that means that both sides, the European side, the German side, and on the other hand, the United Kingdom, they have to, to move and bring forward uh, the negotiations in order that uh, ev even or, or uh, at, least, at least we will have a transition period, but a transition period would also mean from our perspective and from the perspective of businesses, we conducted a, a survey also about that, that after we have to know at least uh, um, to some uh, important factors what is after a transitional period when it comes to Brexit. Only a transitional period uh, brings with the threat uh, of cherry picking and, and this maybe would, would uh, bring burden to the uh, integrity of the European market. Are you saying then that you're quite happy with what you heard from Theresa May in her Florence speech on Friday where she talked about a transition period? This is something that generally German businesses welcomed? We support uh, 
that what Theresa May said when it comes to a transitional period, but we are missing uh, some more concrete uh, details about what does she mean with transitional period. We have to avoid a situation uh, that other European uh, member countries would say that this kind of transitional period for the UK is like cherry picking for the UK and we would uh, like to follow. This is something we want to prevent and the more there is still the need and this is the lack uh, of uh, what uh, Theresa May uh, said uh, uh, on, on Thursday uh, or last week, uh, that uh, what is the concrete detail? Where does she think uh, is the kind of transition? Where are the differences to the situation, to the status quo? And finally, where uh, do we transit to? Where are we heading to? When you build a bridge, you need to know where you want to go. And, and this was also a bit, uh, let's say, it was not so concrete like we would have expected it. And what about the attitude of your members right now towards investing in the UK? Are you seeing much evidence of disinvestment? We have carried out a survey among our members uh, prior to the Brexit and, and right after that. And, uh, the latest results are that uh, one uh, out of ten uh, companies are having concrete plans to withdraw their investments from the UK and that a major share is due to the Brexit planning to invest less than they would otherwise have done. So that means that's uh, a damage on both sides. That's also a damage for our companies. Uh, one out of ten is not that much. We should now work on bringing it to the, uh, to the reverse or at least uh, trying to avoid uh, any further damage. And what have you been telling Mrs Merkel and her cabinet about the kind of Brexit arrangements that you want to see put in place? Uh, under the circumstances uh, what we are, uh, which we are experiencing right now, it, the, the, the question goes to the UK. What uh, do they want to have uh, as a new form of uh, relations uh, to the European Union? Under these circumstances, we would recommend in order to work on a free trade agreement comparable like the European free trade agreement with Canada, the CETA, uh, in a long-term perspective because it takes time for that negotiations. And when this is made clear that both sides are working on a free trade agreement uh, comparable like CETA, then it could come to a transitional period where uh, we try to prolong the status quo with uh, uh, some changes uh, uh, concerned uh, to the, the British voters uh, uh, longings and, and, and arguments uh, which were the reason for the Brexit at all, yeah, that uh, we can do this transitional period. But first of all, of course, uh, need to be clarified that the three assumptions the European has made clear now in the Brexit negotiations that, uh, that those assumptions are, uh, are resolved. And, and this is the question of uh, uh, European Union citizens in Great Britain and uh, British uh, citizens in Europe and uh, the question of the uh, separation bill and the question between Ireland and Northern Ireland. That's, that's for sure. That's, this is the first thing to overcome. But after that, we can aim for a transitional period when we would have a, a, a clear commitment uh, also to an FTA.